Being the doctor requires more than just a companion, a cool screwdriver, and a witty sense of humor. I'm being extremely clever up here, and there's no one to stand around looking impressed. What's the point in having you all? To prove that you can be a Time Lord, you'll probably need a time and relative dimension in space, also known as the TARDIS. The TARDIS allows you to travel to any point in time and space throughout the universe, and has been a staple for the Doctor Who franchise. In fact, it is so popular that Google Maps included an easter egg that lets you visit the TARDIS, where you can travel inside and experience the TARDIS for yourself. The link is in the description below. And after you are done with that, you could boot up the old time vortex and travel to any destination that you can think of. Now it is true that there is no such thing as the time vortex, as far as we know, but it is still theoretically possible to travel through time and space just like the TARDIS. This can be done by traveling extremely fast, or by being near massive objects that warp space-time, such as black holes. But these scenarios only let you travel forwards in time, so is it possible to travel backwards in time? The most likely way that the TARDIS would travel backwards in time is by using negative energy or exotic matter. These theoretical entities could actually exist in our universe, and could also potentially bend space-time around the TARDIS so much that it would either propel the TARDIS faster than light, or create a wormhole that would send you back in time. I know, I know, it sounds crazy. But what else is crazy is how the sound of the TARDIS was created. It was originally created by grinding household keys on piano strings and then playing the recorded sound backwards. Here is some of the original audio. As anyone in the Doctor Who universe knows, if you ever hear this sound, you are probably in an area of great danger. This is because in order to be the Doctor, you must have a drive for adventure, and that usually means, you know, running into villains all the time. Some of these villains have been not so frightening to say the least, while others have been absolutely terrifying. The statues known as the Weeping Angels may seem very innocent, as long as you don't blink. Once you take your eyes off these creatures, they will sneak up on you, and not kill you, but send you back in time. A very polite way of ruining someone's life, wouldn't you say? The only way to survive an encounter with these creatures is unfortunately to keep looking at them. This is because they can never move while they are being observed. To some of you, this may sound a bit like Schrodinger's cat, you know, the one where the cat is both dead and alive until observed, but it's actually inspired by something called the Zeno effect, where a particle will freeze when it's being observed and decay when it is not. But there is a villain who can move while being observed, except you probably won't ever remember seeing them. They are called the Silence and are a species whose main power is making you wonder why there's a hundred black lines on your face. Oh, and erasing your memory every time you look away. They do this through through the use of some psychic and hypnotic abilities which disrupt the hippocampus and limbic system in your brain. That's the area responsible for memory. But getting your memory erased so you can forget a face like this may not be the worst thing in the world. Hey, that face kind of looks familiar, don't you think? But luckily, if you're a good doctor, you'll be able to survive looking at these beautiful faces for more than five seconds and remember that the silence is a... Uh... Wait, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, that's right, what it takes to become the Doctor. The problem is that the Doctor has so many things that separates him from you, so here's a quick list of things that you would need in order to become the Doctor. Two hearts, some seriously awesome anti-aging cream, not bad for 2,000 years old. A screwdriver that magically changes its powers every episode. The ability to regenerate a younger face, the ability to regenerate an older face. A cool bow tie, a coat that makes you look like a creepy magician, a coat that makes you look like a pedophile. The ability to develop a Scottish accent. How can you kidneys? I don't like the color. Oh, and you can't have red hair for some reason. I'm still not ginger. Mama.